Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to add a title to your catalog, such as a birthday book donation. First, you log in as site administrator, then I'd like you to go straight to the catalog. Click on catalog and once you're there, I'd like you to search the navigation bar for add title. Click on add title. There's several options here, but I'm going to stick with books and it gives you by Isman and that is my preference but you can choose any of these other selections if you like if you have a scan gun at this point you can scan in the Isman with your scan gun and it will recognize it or you can type it in as I'm doing right now rather slowly and then click on go it gives you several choices of what the book is my book is a dial book, which all of these are, and it is hardcover, and it also has this particular number, these particular numbers. It is paged, so this is my selection. I'm going to click on this book, and I want to add this copy to my record. Once I've added it, there's several options. It says number of copies I want to add. Let's say it was a few copies of the same book. You'd write the number and then it would say assign next barcode. This is the barcode that it will assign to it. Yours will look different of course. And then so you leave this clicked on. It will show you some information about the book and all you need to do at this point is save the copy. Now you see that this is available to South Element Elementary. You can edit it, duplicate it, it says if it's duplicated, or you can delete it at this point. Now it's time to create that barcode the, to print out and actually add to the book. Let's go to reports. Once you're in reports you go to library reports and search down for the section of labels and then barcode labels, click on barcode labels and it gives you several options. Print used library copy barcodes. Sort by barcode, yes. Notice that I'm not doing much clicking because it really does most of the work for us. This is the most important part. Select by and you want to select it by the time and date you've added these copies. Let's say you want your assistant to make the copies of the barcode labels at another time. That works out perfectly with this system. You can click on the date, from date and to date, everything today that I've added. I've already added a couple of other records, you'll see them in a minute. And then it gives you options. If you just want the barcode label to say your site name, which is for mine, it's South Salem Elementary School Library, that's what you click on. If you want to add the title, the author, the call number, which I do like all this information on, the uh, barcode label, I check them all off. I do want 5160 labels, and then I'd like to run this report. Once I run the report, it says pending. If you just refresh your page, it will come up automatically as a view file. It shows when you completed it. You can view it and there you have all the information on it. If you had just wanted South Salem Elementary and the barcode, it would have had all that information, but I selected all of these things. I do like the barcodes to be more exact, but that's personal preference. And then all you do is control P, print your labels, and move on. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching.